Jenny. Sorry I took so long. I, uh, after I left Aces, I stopped by the stable and saw some of the new colts. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I just lost track of time. Well, I'm, I'm going to go on home. Jenny, I hope, I hope it's not too awful for you on the stand tomorrow. Be prepared for the worst. Was it rough today? Well, I think it's, uh, I think it's probably rough on anybody who has to sit there with every eye in the courtroom on you while you, uh, you're forced under oath to say things. Things that would be better off left unsaid. Especially when you know they're going to get blown all out of proportion in the headlines. It's not going to be easy. And I know you're there only because of us, and uh, I want to thank you for that. No, thanks. We need it. You two have always helped me through the years, especially when David left. You miss him very much, don't you? Yeah, I do. I hope the two of you realize how lucky you are to have each other. Do whatever it takes to stay together, okay? Good night, Jenny. Jenny, we love you. Love you too. Talk to you tomorrow. I'm glad you're home. Why? Were you worried? You were gone a long time. You knew I was at Aces. You could have called. I thought you wanted your privacy. Did you spend a long time at the stables? Maybe an hour, I'm not sure. Did you reach a decision? Yeah, I think I did. Clint, I can only imagine what you went through today. I want you to know that while you were there at the trial and I was here, a little part of me was dying every minute because of all the awful things I knew you had to say. And knowing that they were the truth, I felt like such a coward because I really should have been there with you. I wouldn't wish that on an enemy. I sure wouldn't wish it on my wife. I love my wife. I uh, thought by now you would have reached your limit. You mean with you? Well, you came home from the trial and you didn't want to talk about it. I still don't want to talk about it. Didn't you talk to Asa? Honey, you know, sometimes even a, a grown man wants to talk to his daddy, you know? I mean, I wanted to talk to... I had to talk to someone. Pa's always been a good listener. Anyway, I... finally realized that what I really needed to be was alone. And, uh, I don't know, maybe it's because I spent so much time on a desert. Maybe there's a part of me that's still a loner. So I went down to the horses and... Took a look at the new babies, you know? But all I could think about was you. Now, what's that all about, huh? <laughs> I thought that you wanted to leave me. Why? Because my ego and my pride got a little bruised on the stand today? Yes. You listen to me. I don't ever want to leave you. Not as long as you still want me. God, I hope that's forever, honey. Dinner 
should be up in just a little while. Four simple courses, building up to uh, kind of a wonderful climax. That's just what you ordered, right? I gotta tell you, you're one hell of a woman. Do you, uh... Do you remember when we first met? How could I forget? Tina was so jealous. Oh, was she? Oh, yeah. Well, people who don't trust themselves don't trust the people around them either, you know. Oh. And, um... How do you feel about Tina now? Tina who? <laughs> no, seriously, uh, let's not ruin a nice evening, okay? I... The way I feel about Tina is, I tell you though, I'm surprised that with all the things she's saying about me now, you're not afraid to be with me. Should I be? Come on, she must have bent your ear about the evil ways of Mitch Lawrence. Mm, yes, but, you know, it's just a desperate attempt of a desperate woman. Uh, is that why you were arguing with her downstairs? Mm, that's when I think that she, you know, used to be a friend of mine, though. I do feel a bit sorry for her. You do? Yeah. Hmm. I thought I was the only one. I've been thinking about her far too much. I think about what could have been if she wasn't so screwed up, but... Mm -hmm. I might want to put her out of my mind. That's one of the reasons I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I hope it's not the only reason. Oh, no, it's not the only reason. Weren't we talking about our uh, auspicious meeting? Oh, yes, we were. I think it was fate. I think this date was a long time coming and it had to come, right? Yes. <laughs> Aren't we both lucky that it worked out this way? So Tina is right about something. What's that? There is something about you that... What? Come on, you know, what is it? I guess it's your eyes. My eyes. Yes. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Wait till after dinner. Oh, uh, I wonder if you would mind very much if I freshened up. No, why would I mind? Help yourself. Oh! Oh, no! What's the matter? My wallet's not in my purse. Did, did, did you see it around here? Did you have it when we came in? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, no! What? I probably uh, dropped it in the lobby or left it on the bar when I paid for the drinks. Are you sure? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's the problem. I wish I were. I had, oh, you know, credit cards, cash, all my ID. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll go downstairs. I'll check it out for you, okay? Oh, thank you. You're really very, very sweet. Listen, uh, if dinner should come, while I'm away. Mm-hmm. You keep it hot for me, okay? Yeah, this is Tina Clayton again. Has, uh, has Mrs. Lord come home yet? Well, has she called? I... Look, look, I've been trying to reach her all evening. and uh... Yeah, just tell her I'm back at, at my hotel, okay? Right. 